introducing Tweak to the place board. And that part of her training is still carrying on and probably will do on the place board for some months to come yet. But we'll revisit that in another, in another episode. Alongside of that, I've been trying to build up her retrieving desire. Uh, obviously with the hunting breeds, they've been bred to hunt. And sometimes that can overcome their desire to retrieve. And obviously I want to be able to use Twig uh, in the shooting field to pick up as well as hunt. So I need to develop this desire to go and collect things. So as far as retrieving items, you can use anything. Rolled up pair of socks, a rag with a knot in it, tennis balls, little puppy dummies, they come in various sizes. Um, and I like when they're young, I like to try them with different items. Obviously when we get into the shooting field, we've got pheasants and we've got partridges and we've got ducks. And so all, the things they'll be retrieving when they get older will be different sizes. So I don't like just to stick to one thing. The one thing I will say, balls can sometimes wind them up a bit too much and they can sometimes mess about with dummies. So you've got to try and gauge what's happening with your puppy. So we start that off quite young. Um, I keep all her retrieving restricted. And by that I mean, I use a passageway, a hallway, or um, in a minute we'll bus pop down and I'll show you the retrieving little retrieving alley I've built down the garden. This is my little retrieving alley that I built down the garden. Um, basically I've got an old chicken run here, so I've used the, the pen side on one side. And this is some green netting that you can get from any builder's merchants or hardware store and just obviously some metal, metal hooks. The whole idea of this is to restrict Twig when I'm doing her retrieving. So I don't want her running around the garden. Um, I wanna try and prevent her getting into a habit of getting hold of something and running off with it. So by using a restricted area, as I say, you can use a passageway down the side of your house. You can use your hallway indoors. Um, if you've got room, then this is an ideal situation. Going to restrict her with her retrieving. She's going to learn that it's okay to go out and bring that straight back to me. And um, that's what I've been working on. So I'll go and get the little dog now and we'll just see how she's been getting on. I've not done a huge amount of this, um, basically because of the uh, warm weather we've had. So I've got had. a little twig out with me. And as you can see, she's really keen for this tennis ball. I've been working quite hard on this. It just, I really wanted to get wound up with it. So we do a little retrieve. Good girl. Good girl, come on then. Good girl, and that's what I'm looking for, that real keen jump back at me. We do one more. Never overdo this. Good girl. I'm not holding her back or anything, I'm just letting her go for it. Come on then. Good girl, yes. And look, I'm not very quick about getting this ball off of her. I want her to learn that she can hold it. Good girl, good girl, yes. Good girl, well done. Here, here. Sit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brrrt. Good girl. Come on then. Good. And you should see that she can't run off with it because she's restricted. I'm blocking the exit here. Good girl. Good girl. Lots of praise. Never treat them when you're doing your retrieving. You want them to get used to holding that ball like that. Good girl. Leave it. And a little release command. That's brilliant. Good girl. I'm just going to swap over and we'll use a little dummy now. Uh, again, like I said earlier on, I just like <laughs> I just like to give them a bit of a variation with their retrieves. So we get the dummy out and just see how she goes with that. Good girl. Yeah, okay, so we've got we've got a little dummy now, and you can see as well as the tennis ball, she's absolutely mad keen for this. Good girl. Fetch it. Fetch it. Yes. Now look, see how she tried to go around the side of me there. I don't want that happening, so I'm just going to bring her back round. Good girl. Good girl, leave it. It's funny how you can change something and you get a different reaction. She obviously sees that as a bit more special than the ball. Good girl, yes. Good girl, well done. So now I'm gonna have to watch this now because obviously with this dummy, she wants to try and get around me. With the ball, she didn't. So what I'll probably do is we'll just try one more with the dummy and then I may not use the dummy for a little while. I might just concentrate on the ball. I'm just going to move over this side because this is the side she wants to get. You've got a bit of bramble with that. Yep, tried it again. So that showed me this means a bit more to her than the ball does. So I think what I'm going to do is stop the dummy work with her now. And we're just going to use a tennis ball. Sit. Mad. 
you're a good gal. That'll do you, that'll do you. And also make sure you stop while the dog still wants more. Next time you get this dummy out or the ball out, you know they're gonna be really keen for it. If you get them bored, if you get them bored, then you're gonna start a bit of a problem. But that's gonna do her now. You can see she's getting a little bit wild. That'll do, good girl, that's enough, well done.